Our mm -hmm. next priority is not Please pay attention. Our to next this. priority is rearranging this country. This country must be rearranged. This country is a fraud. It's a lie. Nigeria is a lie. What is called Nigeria died in 1966. When the military shot the gun and suspended the constitution that brought us together. Nigeria was a negotiated country. It was negotiated under the British. That the only way that a country like us, close to 300 nationalities, people with different ideas, different orientation, different religion, different mindset, different way of life. The only way they can cohabit is if they are allowed to govern themselves in their different setting. And then, at the upper point, come and have a weak center. Just like United States of America, New York and New Jersey are just like Lagos and Ogun State. Only a river separated them. Two close states, two different governments. Two different laws. So you don't like their laws and their pay in New Jersey, you move to New York. You don't like New York, you go to Philadelphia. You don't like Philadelphia, you go to Atlanta. Everyone is separately governed. Do you see their election acrimonious as ours? No. State by state election. And then they coordinate it at the center. But everything comes from one source here. That's military. That's military. We are still under military rule, which we now call democracy. There is no democracy in Nigeria. So we must first of all restructure this country and go back to pre-1966 setting, modify it. This country cannot work. I said we go back to what we negotiated. When people say Nigeria cannot be negotiated, I say it's a lie. It was negotiated. It was negotiated. On that ship of Babylon, it was negotiated and everyone believed grow your own area i will grow my own area we meet at the top how come we are shut down when february you are going to vote <laughs> because you know sometimes i look at nigeria oh i'm overshorting my time i look at nigeria i just laugh we are we behave like all right great people all right i hope every one of you understand this pastor I hope every one of us understand every single word that comes out from this man's mouth. And I know that you can never, you can never disagree. But of course, some people will disagree. Because the problem is not you are telling them something that is reality. Are they going to carry it, carry it up? Are the Nigerian people going to carry this thing up? I want you to understand that whenever we see people that are saying the truth, we must bring them out and show the world because we will keep on educating our people in some certain things they don't know. And I want you to understand that Mazin Namdekano and IPOB, IPOB and Mazin Namdekano, this man have have vindicated us again now you begin to understand that everything that Mazen Namdekan have been saying and we IPOB the follower of Mazen Namdekan they are all gospel we have been saying the same thing time without number and it's good now that is your daddy GO that is telling you so that you can be able to reason and apply your common sense to understand what is going on we have been saying that Nigeria are not the same people. In other words, water and oil can never mix together. It can never. According to this pastor, he said, Nigeria is a fraud. We have been saying this, that the foundation of Nigeria was built on fraud. That is the reason why you are seeing all these shenanigans happening. Because we are not one people. And the pastor further said that Nigeria is a lie. Nigeria died in 1966. Nigeria was negotiated, nego nego negotiated country under British. Now you understand what I'm talking about. Not all those your liars called that G.O. called pastors. Prophet and prophetess will be come out, will come out and begin to tell you Nigeria can never break up. We are the same people. 
Some people will come out and tell you that uh, diversity is our strength. We have already coexist together. We have intermarried. And now because we are coexist together and we have intermarried. And that is the reason why we will be dying in, in, in something that we don't know where it come from or where it came from. Now we have to remain in a marriage that they are, they, are, they, are, they are killing us and sucking us and making us dry every single day. And because we have already intermarried and coexist together, we must remain there. That is what some people are saying. Let me introduce myself and go more further in what this man just said. And we just listen to him. You see? I'm bringing you reality. For some of you that don't know, then you begin to understand. All right, great people. All right, freedom fighters. Lovers of freedom are great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Nandi Obukano, where we always set the record straight. My name's are Mazu Okenna known as the Biafran Child Wanchileke, the general. According to the pastor, we have been saying this many times, time without number, ringing it as a bell to our people's ear so that they will understand the mess they are into. We are not one people. We don't have the same culture. We don't have the same way of life. We don't reason the same. We don't have the same religion. That is what the pastors, pastor said. That is what this pastor said. Go back to the video and releasing it again, you will hear everything that this man said from his mouth. You will begin to understand that there is no how you can tell me that Nigeria that has over, I don't know, maybe almost 300 languages or 280 can be taking order for one center. Now you understand it. We can never be one. But I want to shock every one of you, you know, because some of our people don't even understand. But I want you people to know the reason why all this thing is happening. The reason why they are pushing so hard to make Nigeria one state because of the movement of jihadism the movement of jihadism the Fulanese that are coming from neighboring countries from chad Niger, mali sudan somalia every places they want to make nigeria a headquarter of terrorism they want to conquer every indigenous people that they find themselves in that contraption that is the reason why sometimes when i'm telling you people this is not about christian and muslim you know war no it's all about the movement of jihadism which is the conquest the conquest called holy war by the fulanese to to you know to to take over your territory to take over your spaces and make you slave forever that is the reason why they are coming with what they called ethnic cleansing. It does not matter who you are. If you don't believe in that movement of jihadism, of taking over, you are not part of them. And it's real. Obadala said it 2020, but none of us <laughs> listen to it. They will tell our people something. They don't even care. Some pastors, some your pastor called at the GO will come and tell you, hey, we are fine. Nigeria is one. Nigeria can never break. But you don't know that these people are politicians. But you yourself, that going to their congregation, you don't even know that these people are part of the politicians. They are there deceiving you. They are there giving you hope. This pastor has told you all what you have to know. What else do you want to do? Or what else do you want to know? 
Of course, as this pastor finished saying this, some people will say, hey, he's looking for congregation. Hey, he's doing this. But instead of you to use your common sense and understand what this man is telling you, which we have been saying for years, but some people prefer a white garment person or a man call himself a pastor or prince or prophet or prophetess to tell you this and i'm happy that you are hearing it from your that go this man i want you to keep it up this is another man that i have seen that is also saying the truth telling the people to wake up but the question is will nigerian people wake up nigeria is like a dead body nigeria is like a dead body that is the reason why it seems that whenever you finish talking to the people, they find themselves there, nothing can be done because Nigeria is like a dead body that don't even listen, that don't even hear, that don't know what is going on. That is why everybody will come and tell you the intel, authentic intel, how they want to take over your land and everything. Some people will hear it. It will be see, it will seem that nothing has been, nobody says anything. Because Nigeria is like a dead body. Nigeria is like a dead body. That is the reason why. Good day and welcome.